Hello YouTube, it's Friday the 13th and it's time for the second installment of the Time Capsule. Three months have already passed since last time I did my video and now I have to compare what I said then with now. So let's begin. Well, when it comes to weight, I am 123.8 kilos. The conversions will be on the side. That's not cool. Like, if you think about it, like let's say I only gained 3 kilos for the past three months. Technically that's good, but when you do that in summertime, it's it's just as bad as gaining 20 kilos. So, I guess the reason why this happened was that this summer wasn't really the way I planned it out. Like, I planned it out to be, you know, with the car, going out every day, and just, you know, always being occupied, you know, never sitting down. So you can basically work out by going here and there, going to the beach every day, you know, summer stuff. But I, it didn't happen, so basically the first month was sitting down, completely sitting down. We're talking about on the chair for 10 hours, um, fixing my video about uh, men under emotional abuse. You know, collecting sources, writing down a, a script, it was like 15 pages long. Filming, editing, and checking it again and again, and it literally took a month, you know, of every day just sitting down. So there goes that. Second month was, I don't know, we, we left the summer house because the, the previous month um, when I was fixing the video at the summer house so we could go and swim every day but I didn't do it, I was just sitting there fixing a video. So by the time the video was done, I returned back to my other house and I didn't even have a car so that made things even worse. That's when I lost my car, when I came back. And then I was in the house every day, I couldn't go to the beach, I couldn't see people. I was just sitting in home doing nothing, I just forget about it. And now it's the third month technically, so now now we're just in this um, stage of preparation. We're not really on the move. Um, we're just, you know, collecting stuff, running around, went to Athens, um, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, physical activity was not present in any way. So I guess that's how that goes. When it comes to guitar practice, um, I think I also failed there. Um, I haven't really done anything that makes me satisfied. I only, like, I did good practice when it came to preparing for the concert, but it's not the kind of practice that I want to do. Now, anybody who plays guitar knows that, you know, there's specific things that you have to do to become better. Like, you know, exercise books, learning specific songs, all that kind of stuff, and I've been doing nothing. Um, now, just recently, like the past couple of days, I'm just grabbing it again, trying to get my fingers running again because they feel really rusty, and you know, I'm just downloading tablature to start practicing. Um, I hope from now on it's better because I really, 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 really want to get going again. When it comes to income, I'm not really making much, m any money at all actually. But it's nothing I'm really worrying about at this point. I just have to be patient for a month and then from there on we'll see what's going on. About my emotional stability though, um, I think it's starting to appear. Like, back in the first video, um, I was going through a roller coaster of emotions, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down. Basically, if you, phys if you go to a roller coaster in real life, and it's really, really bad. Afterwards, even though you're off, you still want to throw up. And I guess that's how I felt, you know, just after all that crap, you know. And then I actually got rid of all my problems, like, you know, the relationship, my father, you know, everything that made me down, you know, everything that was destroying me from the inside was, you know, left to the side, I got rid of them. Then I was just left with the aftermath, you know, that that, you know, part that you want to throw up, you know, and just feel dizzy and disoriented and just trying to make your body, you know, go into the flow again. So I guess I'm in, I'm in that stage. I'm not saying that I'm out and I'm not saying that I'm in. I'm somewhere in between. I'm just, you know, now I can see what I'm doing. So now I can just walk my way out of it. So compared before with after, now I'm a lot better. Forget about it. Well, about my stress bomb thing, um, I can say that um, my stress has been reduced quite quite a lot. Like back then, I used to have a lot, a lot, a lot of stress. Now I'm 
still stressed about some things, but you know, as a, as a, as a total, it's a lot less. And at least the things I'm stressing about now, I know the solution to it. I just have to wait a bit. I think, I think I'm more stressed about waiting than what to do. Well, I'm still vegetarian, um, and I got no problem about it. It's fine. Um, I'm actually happy that I did so. And you know, you could say that. Oh, why didn't you lose weight since you're a vegetarian? Look. You might be vegetarian, but you still got your sweets, man. You got your ice cream, you got this, you got that. You know, you can eat cakes, you can eat all sorts of fattening stuff that don't require meat. And that's a bad thing, because, you know, I like that stuff. I'm probably, like, addicted to sugar or something, which is probably scientifically valid. I'll probably talk about that in some other vlog. Um... Well, vegetarianism is cool. I highly recommend it. It's something that everybody should start doing. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty cool about it. So. Ah, my room. It's still a mess. It's probably, if my memory serves me right, it's actually worse than last time. But this time, um... It's not just, it's, it's really fucked up, it's, everything's off, you know, nothing's in its place, but um, I don't really worry because the, the reason why it's all fucked up is because I'm trying to find the stuff that I want to take with me and basically packing up and organizing and sometimes when you have to organize, you have to disorganize, so it's part of the process. And I'm not really stressing about it, I don't really care, but you know, if I ever get my own place, keeping it clean is a must, but here... I don't care. About the negativity of my own house, I have to say it's been reduced quite a, quite a lot. But because, you know, if you've ever read my blog, you can check it out on the website. Um, you, you'll find out that I've kicked out my... my oh, not kicked out. Yeah, my dad left the house, right? So, ever since he left the house, everyone's mood has gone a bit higher you know we're still like we still feel like damaged goods but I think through time things will mend itself up so you know it's an optimistic thought to have well I don't have anything to add to this time capsule I think I'll just keep it the way it is um, the thing I'm basically hoping and waiting for is the third installment and the third installment will 99.9% .9 be in Australia, so I really want to see in three months how will I be, and I'm, I'm not going to say I hope, I'm going to say that I will be a lot better, and I simply just can't wait to see it. Something I'd really like is to comment, or, or actually video response, your own time capsule. And by that, you know, we'll start building something new and make, you know, let's try and make the time capsule viral. Let's, ma let's make everyone create a time capsule. It's something that I personally find really cool. Really? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so lights out.